hello everyone welcome to this uh, new video series where we will explore how to use microsoft graph api to query and update different microsoft 365 services so first of all what is a graph api so you could think of it as a big hotel lobby where in that hotel you have different rooms so each room is a different Microsoft services. For example, there's a room for users, room for groups, devices, SharePoint, mailboxes. So instead of separate keys for each room, you go to the reception desk and that reception desk is your graph API. And you tell that reception desk, look, here is the app I have and here is the password for the app. And then the reception desk will look like this app has access to these many things these many objects let's say user and it has access only to read and write users so they will give you an access token which you will use in your graph queries to perform those operations on those resources so the question is why can't we use powershell modules why do we need to use a graph module so firstly there is a different powershell module for each service but with graph there is only one graph endpoint and you get the access token which has permissions in it so you can use that access token on different services to perform some different operations some more benefits of using graph like you can use it with different programming languages unlike powershell modules which only work on windows and it also works great for your automation so that will be another video in this series where i will show you how to automate it using Azure automation and also using graph you can access some attributes or fields which are not generally accessible using PowerShell so in future Microsoft is also prioritizing graph API instead of PowerShell modules so it's good to learn how to use graph APIs so as I said that graph is like a big hotel and graph API is like a reception where you tell them like you have access to these particular rooms so let let me enter those rooms so how do we do that in the portal so in the portal we will create an app and that app will have access to some of the resources for example users groups and on those resources we will define what operations my app can perform and using that app in your script you will perform operations on that service so let's create an app now and give that app some access so in your azure id or enter id now you will go under app registration so you will register an app so we will register an app here called graph demo and then we will give that app some permission so let's say we want to give app the permission to users so we'll go to user and we want to give the app permission to read and write on the users similarly you can give the same app permissions to other microsoft services as well so when you go under microsoft graph select application permissions and these are all microsoft services you can select here so we only selected user read write all type application and then we will grant the app permission to read and write users and then to use this app we need a password so we will create a password which we will use in our script to use this app and we'll go under client secrets client secret new client secret i will name it pw and for how long the password would be valid for so i'll select 90 days here add it and this is the password under value so you need to copy this because we will use it in the script so we need the password and we will need the client id which we will use in our script this client id is the app id and the tenant id so that's our directory tenant id so now let's go to our script that's just a demo script which will read some user attributes we'll use these values to pull the user attributes using graph here is the script which i created and i have already updated the values here in tenant client and client secret 
another important thing this uh, client secret is only valid for 90 days because that's what i selected when i was creating it so after 90 days this will become invalid and the script will not work so you will have to create a new client secret in the app and update it in the script we want our powershell script to log in like an app uh, grab a badge from azure ad and then walk over to microsoft graph to fetch a list of users firstly we will fill out a tiny form called dollar body in this uh, form we have the grant type as client credentials which means no human sign in just the app sign in is allowed then we have scope which says that give me every permission my admin has already approved for this app we only approved user read write then the client id and the client secret which are like username and password so dollar body is just a dictionary a shopping list of key value pairs that we hand to azure ad next this invoke dash rest method so that is our postman so he delivers that form which is dollar body to azure ad's token address which includes our tenant id so azure knows which directory we belong to azure ad checks the id and secret if they are valid it stamps the hall pass officially called an access token and hand it back to us and then we catch that whole envelope in dollar token response variable inside that envelope we only need one field which is uh, access token so think of it as a qr code on our visitor badge we store it in the variable dollar access token every time we talk to microsoft graph we must uh, flash that badge we do that by adding an authorization header that starts with the word bearer followed by the token we also say that we like to speak json which is the default language graph relies on now we drive up to graph users door and we hand over our header graph scans the badge sees we have directory read permissions and sends back the first page of user objects we capture the whole json response in dollar users variable and then we run this command to display us only the display name and user principal name for the user before i do that let me fix these variables i have to put them in double quotes and now when i run this script it's going to show me all the usernames and the user principal names in my entra okay the story doesn't end here because as i said it's going to show me only first page of users so let's say in my entra if i have thousands of users so it's going to show me only a list of first 100 users and what if if i want to generate a list of all thousand users and not only first 100 users or what if i want to not generate a list but update users or get a report of users and email it or save it on a sharepoint site what if i don't want to save the client secret in the script and there should be some secured way to get that client secret while the script is running or run the script at some schedule we'll see how to do all of these things in our later videos i hope you liked the first video of this series the introduction and i hope you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thank you